Rick, the couple says the landlord won't allow the ramp because he feels it would damage the property, even though the contractor says it will not. News 8's Aaron Logan has their back, and she's live in News 8 Control tonight with the responses from several agencies. Aaron. Keith, and there are many people who want this ramp in place. We told you that the couple has already paid for it out of their own pocket. Now they're just waiting for the property owner and a neighbor to budge just a little. It's okay. Just days ago, Don and Robin Paul were told no after the second attempt to put an aluminum ramp outside their home. We all have two spots. Take that out and turn that off. Well, no from the neighbor because she doesn't want to move her car a few feet. And no from the property owner with no real explanation. You've got me ticked off. But now some yeses. Even the uh, human rights and opportunities said this is outrageous. An investigator from that agency showed up Monday after our story aired and took pictures outside the Paul's mobile home. And Greg Kirshner, legal director with Connecticut Fair Housing Center, contacted News 8 after learning about their situation. Do you feel well protected now with all these people who've got your back? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is an example of a problem that we see arise quite frequently for people with disabilities. We met with Kirshner and had a conversation with the licensed contractor over the phone who the Pauls hired, Brian Collins of Collins Medical Equipment. A permit's not required for an aluminum ramp. Collins explained to Kirshner that he's offered several suggestions to the property owner who just doesn't seem willing to work with him. Certainly it appears that it's even less of a burden if it's not a permanent fixture. So what would be a reason why a landlord would say you can't have a ramp? Well, th that's hard to say. What a legitimate reason would be would be something that would cause some sort of extreme burden on the landlord that would somehow greatly affect the property. The couple has already filed a complaint with Housing and Urban Development. They responded quickly. As for the property owner, when we arrived, there was a closed sign in the doorway waving. We wanted to ask if he's heard back from his attorney, since we haven't. I would prefer just not to even have to go to court or anything, you know. I mean, this is, this is ridiculous, just to get a ramp. Now the Pauls feel confident that with all this help that they will get that ramp installed by Christmas. Again, we are still waiting to hear back from the property owner's attorney. Live in News 8 Control, Aaron Logan.